What's the word everybody? It's your boy Jay Sites and I'm back with another tutorial and today I'm about to teach y'all how to use particles in a couple different ways. First off, uh, we're gonna start with CC ball action. I have a preset for this so I'm gonna drop my preset and I'm gonna just show y'all my settings and y'all could just copy that and y'all good. So first off, you want to start off by dragging your clip into your composition and you want to right click, track and stabilize and track that camera. Alright, now that you got your clip tracked, let's grab some points that we can see. Let's uh, make a little circle around a few points. And let's right click and let's make a null. Once you make your null in your camera, turn off your null and let's make a solid. When you add your solid, let's add CC ball action. So now that you got that in there, all you got to do is change your scatter to 900, change your grid spacing to 20, and your ball size to about 6, maybe 6 to 10, in case you don't like how it looks, and you should be solid. Add some glow. If you have deep glow, you can use that. I'm going to use optical glow, as always. <laughs> Come down to quality, extreme alpha channel generate you can add tint let me change that color to like goldish matches vibe and you got your stars right just like that maybe you can do things like duplicating the clip and dragging a mask Hit M, right click, and track that mask, and hit play. And now you have less particles on the ground. You could probably expand that. Feather it. And yeah, it's just as simple as that. This is not really a hard effect, especially if there's not too much movement in your camera. You should be good. But let's get to the second part of this. I bet. So for part two of this, we're going to use uh, CC Particle World. So you should already have your clip tracked. If you don't, just right click and uh, track camera and then wait for that to finish. And then once that's done, you're going to have your point here. Let's highlight some points and let's make a null in the camera. Once we have that null in the camera, we could turn off the null. Then we could come grab a solid. Let's add a CC particle world. Once you add that, let's come to the particle. That's the first thing and change it to faded spear. Let's change the max opacity to 100. And let's get you a color. Let's make it like the white. I'm going to just use the ink drop and grab one of the whites from around here so it matches everything in the shot. And once you choose your color, you can scroll up to the top and change the birth rate and the longevity to 10. Then we could come down to physics and mess with the gravity, put the velocity to zero and then put the gravity to zero as well. And then let's come up to the producer and let's expand these along the X and Y axis. Ugh. It's just like that. Come mess with your radius. I'm sorry. Come to the producer and change your radius. And this is way too many stars. So we could come back up to the birth rate and we could just uh, turn this down to maybe like one point. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, one point. Yeah, one point is better. And then we could come back down to the particle section and play with the birth and the depth size. You don't want to make those too big. Then you could do stuff like add optical glow. Also, if you don't really like how the positioning is, you can. Well, first though, if you could turn off these grids, if you don't like these, these are annoying. And you could change the position of this. You could change the X and the Y. Have them just like that. I like this. Alright, let me let me get to this next way. 
Alright, so here we go with the third way. You know, I thought I was only going to do two ways, but we got a third way. Because, you know, I kind of forgot about this way. But Particular is definitely one of those fire ones. So, you got your clip. It's tracked. Make a circle around your points. Make another null. And then turn that null off. Let's make a solid. And then let's add Particular. Once you add Particular, you could come to the emitter and change your uh, emitter type from point to box. Make a keyframe at particles slash seconds. It's gonna stay at 100. Wait, but you gotta be in the middle of like your clip to where your particles are on the screen. So when you see all your particles, that's when you make that keyframe and then you go one frame over, you change it to zero, you cut it, And then you drag it all the way to the beginning of your comp. Now your particles are here. Now you could come down to environment, air turbulence, and boost the density all the way up to 100. So now the particles are staying still. Now you could come to the emitter size, X and Y, and change that to X, Y, Z individual. And then you could start scaling out you can even change the z position then you could complement this by adding some more glow optical glow and you see how it's disappearing here at the end all you got to do is come to particle and expand the life of the particles and they will not disappear hey yeah man that's that bro if you enjoyed that, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm going to be back with another one, man. Peace.